today's video is about whatever you want it to be about. So if anyone out there has any questions, then this will be a QA and a um, similar to the one that we did yesterday. And it's to catch up with people, find out if they have any burning questions that they want answered related to health. We can talk about weight loss, back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, um, or we can just catch up with you guys. So thanks for tuning in to the live chat. I know it's a weekday and everyone's at work, so uh, may not be a busy live chat in terms of questions, but SFC Gym, thanks for joining in. I'm going to be in Coventry tomorrow at the gym, so if anyone is in the Midlands and you have any aches and pains, then do uh, DM me and I will get you booked in and get you seen to and get you sorted out. So do um, let me know if you guys uh, um, if you guys have any aches and pains. Also, I'm going to try and uh, get there early so I can make use of the amazing boxing gym. So if you haven't checked out their classes um, or their facilities, then do do that as well. So Haj, thanks. Haji, thanks for joining. Ankar Singh, uh, good to see you. Govinda, good to see you. And Raj, good to see you too. Um, so, yeah, talking about health, specifically the s question we're going to answer today is related to sciatica. I see a lot of people with sciatica, um, it's really common. Uh, in terms of where we, sorry, just a quick question. Raj says, where are you based in Coventry? It's at it's a SFC underscore gym. If you um, search for that on Instagram, they're also on this live chat. You will um, be able to find the address there in Crossroads, which is off uh, Fozo Road, I think in Coventry. In terms of Southall, it's North Road. Everyone knows Shanshars and it's a couple of doors down from Shanshars and in Slough it's near Singsala and most people know that landmark. So it's off the Uxbridge Road in Slough. And we are um, trying to get something set up in East London so that every other week I can be in East London because there's um, a few people who come down on a regular basis from East London and it can be a bit of a trek. So if I go there then hopefully it'll make it easier for those families um, uh, to be able to reach me and the same with uh, Crossroads there's a lot of people who come to the Midlands M most of the time the clinics are um, full of people who aren't from Coventry so most of the clinic is from people who are from Birmingham, Wolverhampton, Derby Nottingham, Leamington uh, Nuneaton so all of those sides as well as Coventry so it's a good to have a kind of uh, central base and Coventry is exactly that it's about an hour for everyone to get to or less um, so that's been working really well. So do book in if you know anybody with any aches and pains. But we're talking about sciatica. A lot of people have this for years and they suffer quite badly with it. I've, I, it's probably the problem I see most often. And my success rates with this are pretty good at the moment. And it's because I do a novel intervention, which I don't know of anybody else that, uh, that does this, but it's electroacupuncture around the sciatic nerve. So focusing on the areas where people uh, generally get issues which is the gluteal region where the nerve gets trapped around piriformis so if you google um, sciatica you'll see lots of things about something called piriformis syndrome and if you do acupuncture around the trigger points in that area I found in my experience it relieves the sciatica in most cases and then you need to do some strengthening program to um, get rid of their back pain there's a few resistant cases but majority of people with um, sciatica respond to that the normal prognosis for sciatica is on average it takes about 8 to 12 weeks so it's not an overnight thing to get better but in some cases it is uh, with treatment it can get better very quickly but the reason I take the prognosis is because it's important to pa patient with nerve type things it does take a long time never eager good to see you hopefully hope you're resting up um, getting better and we're just talking about the East London Clinic I'm planning to start one very soon just trying to figure out some premises and then um, it'll be easier for you Bow saying good to see you. Um, so there's that element and hundreds of years ago the treatment was putting a needle through the ear and actually piercing the ear and leaving the piercing in place and that was a treatment for sciatica and that was used not just within um, places like Egypt and South America but also in kind of Arab nations all around the world um, so that seems like and India so it seems like that's a treatment that's been around for a long time and if it's been around for centuries then potentially there's some true sort of effectiveness in it for it to um, stand the test of time. So that, uh, ear acupuncture is something I also do for resistant cases and that's something to look into as well. So if you're suffering from sciatica or somebody you know has got it, then um, those two things, uh, electroacupuncture around the gluteal region and um, auricular acupuncture, which is acupuncture out, outside on the ear, is worth trying. 
Um, there's also things in, in terms of exercises, so hyperextensions are great. Um, a Pilates bridge is great for that type of stuff. So all of those things will help as well. And then avoiding aggravating ex uh, movements. So if you find sitting in the car or sitting on the desk for long periods of time is aggravating, then you want to try and avoid that. If you do have to sit, then you want to pace. You want to try and break up the amount of time you have to sit in one go as much as possible. Um, there's lots of mind-body type of things that you can do, like breathing exercises. Um, there's something called the relaxation response. There's also an app called Headspace, which has a 10-day free course. So it's that type of stuff which will help your body recover faster because it reduces stress. So hopefully that information helps the, um, you guys out there. And if you missed any of that, then do watch it back. Do watch the live video back. Thanks a lot for joining in and hopefully catch you guys soon. It's good to see so many familiar faces. Uh, Masi, good to see you on here as well. Good, um, good to see you, Benj. So hopefully catch you guys soon and have a great day.